Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back for the remaining month of May reads, start from the 22nd through the 31st of May 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. So Gemini, let's see what is coming in for you for the remaining month's time. I will be adding color cards and oracle cards as well in this reading, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what is coming in for you, Gemini's. What is coming in for you for the remaining month time? Let's begin. <clears throat> we do have our first two cards, the Tower and Five of Cups. If you are feeling sad and lost and upset about something, you are definitely going to snap out of it quickly. Uh, something is going to happen. Probably if you are dealing with a breakup and ending in a relationship, unexpected person is coming in your life. And who is going to wash away the fears, wash away the sadness, gloominess in, you know, that you are suffering with right now in your life. Uh, there is a lot of love that you can, uh, you know... Uh, that you can look around you right now. I really feel like, you know, yes, maybe there is some sort of uh, breakup that you might have uh, experienced in the recent times. I really feel like, you know, um, maybe right now you're walking into this remaining month time with that energy where you're not happy at all, but you are gonna break free from it quick. Um, let's see more cards here. And for some of you, probably all is definitely not lost. Maybe it's a mini breakup. Maybe it's the good thing for you to happen. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, to, to have this breakup in your life, maybe it is going to get you the breakthrough that you that you always looked for in love with the wrong person. It is going to be different for everyone. But I really feel like, you know, you are going to be breaking free from the sadness and gloominess in the remaining month time for sure. There is going to be a lot of um, clarity that you're going to be having as well. Um, for some of you, probably, yes. Um, you have invested so much of your time and energy into something and that is why you are disappointed in yourself and in the situation but again i really feel like you know there is a lot that you can expect coming up for you um so yes i i really feel like you know, for those of you who are feeling like unhappy with with a relationship for some of you i don't know why i picked up like you know with the page of cups coming out i really feel like you know maybe you started off a connection and uh, things ended very soon if that happened, um, I really feel like, you know, you don't have to get uh, upset with that because that um, connection, maybe you, you just had an on and off with someone specific. Maybe you just had a person in your life who, who came and then went out, uh, you know, uh, out of your life so quick. I really feel like, you know, if something like that has happened, um, it was definitely gonna, you know, it was definitely, you know, uh, good for you. So, so you are going to understand that during this uh, remaining month time. So again, try to open yourself up to the information, knowledge that you would be having around why things ended with someone specific. You will be getting uh, the clarity and I feel like you, know, you will thank your lucky stars for not you know, uh, having what you were expecting to have with this person. So let's see more cards here. We do have the sun and we do have this three of cups coming in. I mean, the deck, we do have the star. I really feel like, you know, you have nothing to worry about anything in your life right now. The universe has your back for sure. Uh, whatever it is that is upsetting you right now, right, right now, maybe you're feeling loss of some kind in love, work, home life. There is something that is that you that is bothering you heavily and you know uh, dominantly, but this is going to end. You know this this is definitely washing away in this remaining month time because I really see, um, you know if 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 you are upset with your specific someone maybe maybe you are feeling like you know probably things are over between you and them maybe it's not so just wait for the remaining month time because there is something. Uh, some information that's going to come through. For some of you, probably you might have been out of touch with your person for, for a week or so, and you have been upset thinking maybe your person has ghosted you out or something. But in actuality, probably they were dealing with something personal in their life. Maybe that was like, you know, traumatizing for them or something, you know, might have been happening in, in their life, which could not get them the time enough to talk about, you know, that thing with you. So I really feel like, you know, there is some sort of communication might also come in. There might be some sort of message come in, which, which is going to clear 
clear the path for you and which is going to clear the doubts for you as well. So there is a possibility of something beautiful coming out of this current situation that you are having. So something is going to come through. It can be a communication. It can be an offer, which is going to clear that negativity out of your life for sure. You will be having a good time spent in the remaining uh, you know, month time. The first few days probably are going to be the time when you're going to feel like, I don't know why it's happening with me. And you might be asking negative questions to yourself. What, what wrong do I have? Like, you know, uh, have I done to, you know, uh, to, to get or to, to deserve what I'm getting right now in my life. But this is like a momentarily thing. It's going to go away. Like, you know, you don't have to indulge into that thinking, um, you know, negative about any situation that you're currently having in your life. Because I really see that um, definitely something beautiful is going to come through. For some of you, probably um, your person was stuck in something. Uh, maybe they were stuck in... Um, some like I said earlier, I really feel like you know maybe they were dealing with something, some something that you were uh, that you are unaware of. They are going to reach out, they are going to communicate, and they're going to let you know what what they were dealing with. They were stuck in something, but yes, they want to know, uh, want you to know that they love you. Yes, they have feelings for you. For those of you who have been waiting for the person to open up about their feelings they will also open up about their feelings to you as well for some of you probably you're feeling so lost and sad and upset because you're feeling left out maybe you don't have nobody uh that you that you can uh call your own and which is bothering you but again i really feel like you know this person is coming towards you this person is coming back to you uh with with love to offer i really feel like you know, there had been some sort of issues between you and them uh or maybe it was they, their personal issues that they were dealing with which they're coming and breaking free from from and uh, coming with an offer to make to you so again try to stay positive in the first few days the rest of the remaining month time is already going to be so positive you're going to be like you know uh having good time uh with with the that communication coming in for you so be that a new person be that a past person whoever this person is this person is going to wash away the worries that you're having right now around your love life there is love coming in for you so um for some of you maybe maybe you're sad because a connection ended but then comes a new person in your life who you're going to be like you know um having a lot of communication with which is also going to help you break free from uh, whatever you were holding on to from the past person so it can be something like that for some of you uh, especially if you are willing to move on from a past person and now uh, something that ended badly for you i really feel like you know your love life is going to pick up pace again in the remaining month time let's see contract then we have the thinking man for some of you i really feel like you know it's it's the situation where probably somebody from the past is going to really come and not offer you a contract offer you marriage offer you proposal uh they have been thinking about it and not, now they're coming towards you to ask uh for for you know if you're still interested or if you're still willing to be with them or not so that might be coming through for you um let's see um what color could be lucky or significant for you? We do have silver. Uh, be persistent, number 27. Try to be persistent in whatever you choose to do. And uh, you will get through the time. If there is something to do with your work scenario where you are disappointed, try to stay persistent and you will get the success that you're seeking. Number 27 could be a significant number for you as well during this remaining month's time. Let's see the last card of the read. Let's see what else the Oracle Guidance for you. Union of love. Embrace the beloved within your heart. The divine really wants you to open your heart up to receive the love that you're seeking outside. Uh, and I feel like you know, there is a lot of blessings coming up for you. So don't hold back, uh, you know, and don't uh, keep yourself stuck thinking negative about your love life situation currently. Like I said earlier, the universe has your back and everything is going to be all right during this remaining month time. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for the remaining month time. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. Till I do the next video for you guys. Take care. Bye.